Welcome to New Zealand's adventure capital. Snuggled into the shoreline of Lake Wakatipu and towered over by vast mountain peaks, Queenstown is completely devoted to tourism and offers a number of ways for travelers to get their adrenaline thrills. This little town in the southern island is not for the faint-hearted, with many activities for the thrill-seeker. Coupled with some marvelous and picturesque attractions make Queenstown quite a memorable visit. Situated in the southern island, with a backdrop of the southern Alps and beautiful lakes, Queenstown is a mesmeric location. It is home to some of the most popular ski resorts in the entire country and hosts thousands of visitors every year for the same. Apart from that, it is the place for the highest bungee jump in the entire country, the largest rope swing in the world. Coupled with other exhilarating activities such as skydiving, ziplining, and numerous trekking trails through the nearby hills, the city presents itself as one of the best options for a weekend getaway in New Zealand and makes a very strong case to be on your itinerary if you are visiting New Zealand for a week or more. Whenever you visit, this little town on the South Island, full of lively entertainment and dining options and surrounded by astonishing mountain vistas, packs plenty of thrills. If you are dreaming of traveling to this lovely corner of New Zealand, be sure to watch our video of top tourist attractions and things to do in Queenstown. Before we get started, make sure you have subscribed our YouTube channel and click the bell icon so you don't miss our new upcoming videos. Number 1. Lake Wakatipu Lake Wakatipu is an inland lake in the South Island of New Zealand. It is one of the country's most visited tourist attractions. This lightning-shaped inland lake carves through valleys made by glaciers from the surrounding mountains. Queenstown, dubbed the adventure capital of the world, sits on the bend of the lightning bolt. Queenstown lies on the shores of this distinctively Z-shaped lake that is hemmed in by high hills and covers an area of 293 square kilometers. According to local Maori legend, Lake Wakadipu came into being when the monster Madam was burned to death, and his heart is said to still beat at the bottom of the lake, causing the lake water to rise and fall by 10 centimeters every 20 minutes. This is actually due to a tide caused by the lake's odd shape. Water quality in Lake Wakadipu is excellent. Since water sampling began at this site in 2018, it is completely safe to swim in an, an incredible clean too. Europeans first reached the lake in 1853, and during the Otago Gold Rush of the 1860s, around 30 passenger ships plied the waters, here servicing the thousands of gold prospectors in the district. Today, the lake traffic is much more subdued, used by recreational boating, fishing, and kayak tours. Number 2. Cruise Aboard the TSS Ernstlaw One lovely old relic of the Gold Rush days is still in use, the twin-screw steamer Ernstlaw, now in service as a cruise ship. This classic old steamer she was built in 1912 and is the oldest still operating passenger steamship in the Southern Hemisphere offers excellent ninety minute scenic cruises on Lake Wakatipu. It's a great experience with the occasional whiff of coal and the blast of her steam whistle adding a true authenticity to the experience. A highlight of the journey is heading down to the boiler room area where you can watch the stoker in action feeding coal into the furnace. Along the way, You'll also be rewarded with spectacular views over the lake toward the surrounding mountains, as well as the attractive shoreline setting around Queenstown. Those traveling with kids may also wish to add the Walder Peak High Country Farm option to your trip, which includes a stopover and tour of a working farm. Lunch and dinner cruise options are also available. The ship works 14-hour days in the summer months and cruises for 11 months of the year, despite being over 100 years old. Passengers have access to a walkway in the engine room where they can observe the operation of the engines during the cruise. The Ernstlaw is the only working coal-fired steamship on the Lloyd's Register. Number 3. Jet Boating on the Shotover River The Shotover River is located in the Otago region of the South Island of New Zealand. The name correctly suggests that this 75-kilometer long river is fast-flowing with numerous rapids. The river flows generally south from the Southern Alps on its journey running through the Skipper's Canyon draining the area between the Richardson Mountains and the Harris Mountains before flowing into the Kawarau River east of Queenstown. This shot over river first found fame during the Otago Gold Rush. It is now a popular river for tourism. The river is used for commercial white water rafting trips and jet boating rides which operate out of the nearby tourist resort of Queenstown. There is also a canyon swing site on the river a short distance upriver from Arthur's Point. Three jet boat operators have rights to use the river, as do two rafting companies. Much of the land that surrounds the Shotover River, upstream from Arthur's Point, is now foreign owned by Robert Lange, the former husband of singer Shania Twain. These days, however, 
It's better known as home to one of Queenstown's most popular tourist attractions, the Shotover Jet, which is the only company allowed to operate amid the narrow canyon section of the waterway. This thrilling, breakneck speed journey down the narrow river, hemmed in by dramatic canyon cliffs, is often described as the world's most exciting jet boat ride, and is one of Queenstown's longest-running adventure activities, having been in operation since 1965. Number 4. Skyline Queenstown The countryside surrounding Queenstown is full of magnificent mountain views, but you don't have to travel out of town to take in some of the top sightseeing opportunities and scenic panoramas. The Skyline Queenstown Gondola, right in town, offers incredible vistas over the city, Lake Wakadipu, and the jagged peaks of the Remarkables. Skyline Gondola is an iconic way to explore the scenic surroundings of Queenstown, New Zealand. The gondola ride begins at Queenstown and goes over the picturesque natural landscapes and the cityscape before it ends at Bob's Peak. The ride is also famous as the steepest cable car ride in the region. The gondola can carry four people at a time and lifts them to an altitude of 450 meters above the town, from where one can get a stunning view of the surroundings. Once riders reach the top of Bob's Peak, they can then enjoy an even more spectacular view of the city and the mountains, especially the Cornet Peak. Cecil Peak and Walter Peak. Along with the panoramic view, Bob's Peak also has some facilities that visitors can enjoy. The gondolas are wheelchair-friendly, electric wheelchairs cannot be accommodated, and also have safety provisions. Hence, it is a good activity for families to bond with each other as they explore Queenstown. Other fun attractions here include a go-kart like luge experience, mountain biking trails, stargazing, plus shopping. At the top, a number of lookout platforms and an excellent restaurant offer more of those views to soak up. An especially fun thing to do at night in Queenstown. Number 5. The Home of Bungee Jumping Bungee jumping is an activity that involves a person jumping from a great height while connected to a large elastic cord. The launching pad is usually erected on a tall structure such as a building or crane, a bridge across a deep ravine, or on a natural geographic feature such as a cliff. The thrill comes from the free falling and the rebound. When the person jumps, the cord stretches and the jumper flies upwards again as the cord recoils and continues to oscillate up and down until all the kinetic energy is dissipated. If you were to only ever experience a single bungee jump in your life, Queenstown would be the best place to do it. Queenstown's a J. Hackett Bungee is the company that first started this worldwide adrenaline craze and their Kawarau Bridge bungee jumping experience is the original location where it all began in 1988. The 43-meter jump is on a platform on the historic suspension bridge itself, which was built over the Kawarau Gorge with the Kawarau River below in 1880. For further thrills, you can also bungee jump from their Nevis Point location. At 134 meters above the Nevis River, the Queenstown Nevis Highwire bungee jump is the highest bungee in New Zealand and the world's third highest. This tour option includes round-trip transportation, plus a free t-shirt to show your friends you made the jump. Number 6. Paragliding in Queenstown Queenstown is a spectacular place to enjoy paragliding which is located on the shores of the South Islands Lake. Paragliding is the best adventure activity one can experience while visiting Queensland and is also the most amusing amongst all aerial pursuits. Queenstown provides one of the most tranquil and scenic views from the top and is also known as the adventure capital of New Zealand. Queenstown's skyline is a dramatic appeal to all the paragliders. There are many paragliding companies that offer you various town packages at a very reasonable price. It is altogether an exhilarating experience to jump off the cliff and witness the panoramic views of the town. Bob's Peak and Coronet Peak are the best spots for paragliding not only in Queenstown but also in the entire country. It is not an activity recommended for faint-hearted people. Precautions need to be taken if one is planning to experience this thrilling adventure. Keeping a check with weather conditions, letting your operator know about your medical conditions, checking with the equipment before taking off and avoid crowded and chaotic landing. The most appropriate season to visit Queenstown for paragliding is from March to September with moderate temperature and clear skies to explore the vivid skyline of Queenstown. Number 7. Queenstown Trail there is nothing better than exploring the beautiful countryside of New Zealand on one of the world's most beautiful and popular walking and cycling trails, the Queenstown Trail. This 130-kilometer-long trail goes around in loops and connects the popular destinations of Queenstown, Arrowtown, Lake Hayes, Arrow River, and Gibston. It provides the most spectacular views, which are not accessible by cars or other vehicles. 
It is very popular among locals and fitness enthusiasts, as it is wide enough for two bicycles and has shorter loops which you can cover on a casual evening walk. It was opened in 2012, but some parts of it had been in use a few years before that. The trails are mostly accessible throughout the year, but sometimes get slippery and dangerous during the rain. They can be used by cyclists of all levels, and the terrain is mostly easy to intermediate. It also traverses through two mighty suspension bridges, which offer breathtaking views of the valleys and gorges. The trail contains eight separate tracks, so you can choose a short route, or if you've got four or so days up your sleeve, you could cycle or walk the entire trail. Accommodation is available at various points along the way. Number 8. Queenstown Mall the Queenstown Mall is located at the heart of the busy city of Queenstown. It is a quaint little open space, well-suited for pedestrians to stroll around and take in some fresh air next to the waterfront. You could spend an evening looking through the various boutiques and specialty shops at the mall. It also hosts a variety of top-quality restaurants, cafes, and pubs, which have outdoor seating options where you can watch as the world goes by. This place also has amazing souvenir places and the network of alleyways is perfect for feeling right at home as it gives off a small-town vibe. An abundance of handicraft, art, and craft shops are also present, and you will be spoiled for choice when it comes to sweaters and rugs and even get amazing bargains. You can also head to the lake for a cruise later in the evening after a few drinks. The streets around Queenstown Mall also boast of having a variety of shops, well-suited for window shopping. It is a five-minute walk from central Queenstown, and is easily accessible by bus, car, taxi, cycle, and on foot. Number 9. Gibston Valley Winery One of the founding and most famous wineries of the central Otago region of New Zealand, the Gibston Valley Winery produces the most flavorful handmade wines. Also known as the Valley of Wines, this place is nestled between the beautiful, lush mountains and is known for its outstanding Pinot Noir. It offers a variety of wine tours and tastings, which take you through the world's largest wine cave and to the sprawling vineyards. You can also hire a bike from here and go around exploring the area, or just take a bike tour of the winery. It is an ideal day trip from the cities of Queenstown or Arrowtown, or you can even stop here if you're on the Queenstown Trail. The dining experience at the Gibston Valley Winery is absolutely beautiful, with the valley on one side and delicious food paired with the perfect wines sits in front of you. The winery also organizes concerts from time to time in the summer and is the perfect place for a cozy family lunch on a weekend. If you're in the Queenstown area, you do not want to miss this place. Number 10. Queenstown Garden Queenstown Botanical Garden area sits right on the shore of Lake Wakadipu and is a great place to stroll and admire the lake views. The gardens were originally laid out in 1867 and now contain a vast array of both native and international plant species, including a large sweep of Douglas fir trees, which provide shady retreats on a scorching hot Otago summer day. The gardens are most famous for their historic oak and fir trees, which were planted by Queenstown's first mayor in 1866. There is also a lovely rose garden here and a restored band rot the dating from 1891. Number 11. Kiwi BirdLife Park A trip to New Zealand would be incomplete without viewing its national bird, the kiwi. The Kiwi BirdLife Park is a not-for-profit conservation park which hosts over 20 species of local birds and reptiles. It takes special care to provide the birds the closest to a natural habitat possible, with keeping the nocturnal kiwi in a dark space. The kiwi is also not visible in the open, and this is one of the few places in New Zealand where you can observe them from such a close distance. The park also conducts an informative yet fun conservation show, which teaches the audience about the in-house species and the team's conservation efforts, all while the birds fly around in the open arena. This is a great location for a family to spend a Sunday morning at, and it will be a great learning experience for the young ones. You can also view a kiwi feeding session or take an audio tour of the whole facility. The park is also home to a bee center, in which you can view indoor and outdoor beehives and even sample some honey for free. So immerse yourself in the lush green surroundings with the chirping of the birds and buckle in for a wholesome yet educating day. Since the park is located within the city of Queenstown itself, bus is the cheapest way to get to Kiwi BirdLife Park. The bus lines that go near the area are Bus 11 and Bus 9, the most popular taxi service Uber, which is easily available and can be booked through their app. Number 12. Ben Lomond Track This uphill hike is rather demanding 
But all the sweat is worth it for the magnificent views down to Lake Wakadipu from Ben Laman Summit. The entire trek to the top and return takes a full day six to eight hours with a path heading up first through Nada Beach and Douglas Fir Forest and then Alpine Tussock Land. Be aware that the last portion of the trail before the summit is extremely steep, so a good level of fitness is required. The Ben Lomond track is easily reached from central Queenstown, with trailheads from both near the top of the Gondola Terminal and from the access road below. The track uphill is a difficult and challenging one, but the view one grabs hold of when at the peak is something worth holding on to. Number 13. Coronet Peak Coronet Peak is the closest mountain to the town of Queenstown, New Zealand, being just a 20-minute drive away. The peak is ski wonderland with stunning high points and amazing rolling trails luring in skiers and riders to have the best ski experience. It is home to various different terrains for skiing from challenging ski tracks for experts and professionals to novice areas for beginners to learn. What sets Coronet Peak apart from all the other ski mountains is that it offers night skiing. This means that Coronet Peak offers some of the longest numbers of hours open for skiing in New Zealand. The peak's proximity to Queenstown and the view from the ski field across Lake Wakatipu and the smaller nearby Lake Hayes are further contributors to the popularity of the mountain. Number 14. Lake Winaka. Lake Winaka is a gorgeous sweep of blue, sediment tussock covered hills and overlooked by the dramatic, craggy peaks of Mount Aspiring National Park. The little town of Winaka, located on the lakeshore, 67 kilometers northeast of Queenstown, is a quieter tourist destination than Queenstown and is home to many artists who show their work in a range of galleries in town, as well as local retirees drawn here for the peaceful atmosphere and lovely natural setting. Fishing, recreational boating, and swimming are the main activities for travelers. Although with Mount Aspiring National Park on the doorstep and numerous day walk trails in the area, Winock is a major base for trekkers, hikers, and sightseers too. Number 15. Lake Hayes Located at a mere 15-minute drive from the city of Queenstown and Arrowtown, Lake Hayes is a perfect getaway from the hustle and bustle of the busy city. It is one of the most picturesque lakes in all of New Zealand and offers a stunning view of the surrounding mountains. The lake attracts a lot of runners, cyclists, and walkers who use the Lake Hayes walkway to get some of the best views of the area, views which would not be accessible from a car. You could also spend some time here on a sunny afternoon or have a picnic lunch here. Dip your feet in the cool and clear water of the lake and admire the beautiful reflections of the mountains in the still water, or hire a kayak and go exploring around the serene lake. The Lake Hayes Rowing Club also makes use of the undisturbed waters for recreational activities. The historic gold mining town of Arrowtown is also just five minutes away, and the world-class Milbrook Golf Resort is also close by. Don't miss out on this breathtaking place while you're in the area. Number 16. Queenstown Onsen Hot Pools Retreat and Day Spa The Onsen Hot Pools Retreat and Day Spa is a quaint facility that is known for its luxurious services and the breathtaking views offered from within the cedar-lined hot tubs. The facility is located on a cliffside that overlooks the shot over River Canyon, offering the visitors a clear view of the alpine forest and the water sports taking place on the shot over river waters below. The pools are filled with the fresh water flowing from the nearby mountains and valleys, completing its quest towards a fully natural experience for the visitors. The day spa is located on 160 Arthur's Point Road in Queenstown, at the bottom of Coronet Peak Ski Field. It remains open during all seasons, and the water temperature is regulated every day according to the weather and temperature. Number 17. Skiing in Queenstown Skiing, a recreational activity, and a winter sport have now become an international venture recognized by the International Olympic Committee and the International Ski Federation, a competitive sport along with regular skiing events. The types of skiing include alpine skiing, which is practiced in hills and mountains, regular skiing with free heel bindings, Nordic skiing, freestyle skiing, recreational skiing, and backcountry. Started as a club sport in 1861, Mainly in South America, Switzerland, and Australia, skiing has gained momentum over the years and has now become such a desired international sport. Many resorts create fall snow enable skiing during non-snowing months. So, those looking for an exciting activity during the winter, skiing can be an enjoyable activity and a great exercise to pursue. Number 18. Skipper's Canyon One of the most scenic journeys you can take in the Queenstown area is the drive through Skipper's Canyon, about 20 kilometers north of Queenstown. 
This 22-kilometer-long canyon now leads to Coronet Peak, but was once home to thousands of prospectors after gold was discovered in 1892 in the Shotover River, which winds through the gorge. Today, the winding and narrow road through the canyon known as Skipper's Canyon Road, often short to just Skipper's Road, is bordered by breathtakingly vertical drops on one side and high cliffs on the other. This dramatic scenery makes for an incredibly beautiful road trip. And traversing the high suspension bridge known as Skipper's Bridge, built in 1901, is a major highlight along the way. Although private cars are allowed along the road, self-drivers should be aware that rental companies will not give out insurance for traveling this route, and so it is much easier and more sensible to take one of the many Skipper's Canyon tours. A great option is the Skipper's Canyon four-wheel drive tour from Queenstown, a half-day adventure including hotel pickup and a stop for a delicious cream tea along the way.